Hi, my name's Tony and I'm from The Sup Company and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about the all new Cabrina 62 Crossfly. So here it is, the Cabrina Crossfly 62. And if you haven't heard of Cabrina before, well, we'll let you off because you're here watching this video on the Sup Company channel. But Cabrina is a brand are an absolute beast of a kite surfing brand. They've been around since the very, very early days of kite surfing, 20 plus years ago. And Pete Cabrina, whose name is across all of the products, is still very much at the front of the company, leading it to this day. Pete himself, he's probably been foiling now for around 14, 15 years, back from those very, very early prototype days out in Hawaii. And that and the expertise and depth really in the Cabrina team globally has really, really start to shine through in terms of their wing surfing product and what they're offering. This here, the Crossfly 62, is going to be the most popular model in the Crossfly lineup. That's because it crosses over really and covers off a lot of uses. And it is a true crossover board. Because not only does it work if you are paddling prone and looking to foil in swell or small waves in a surf break, it does work fundamentally as a wing surfing board as well. But look, as we do in all of our videos here at the SUP Company, let's run you down from the nose down to the very short tail in this six foot two board as we do in all of our videos. And what's clear very early on is very much how pulled in the nose is on this six two crossfly. At six foot two overall, it's not a particularly short board for wing surfing, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing because it gives you a lot of waterline length, which means one thing, glide and speed. And if you are able to use that waterline length in the early stages prior to flight, you are gonna find that you get up much quicker and you're gonna be foiling much, much sooner because your overall board speed, or let's call it your boat speed, is gonna be increased and therefore you're gonna get more flow over the foil and it's gonna provide more lift earlier on. Once you are up and riding the board though, that pulled in nose really starts to pay dividends because it's reducing the overall swing weight out in front of you. That's meaning that those inputs that you're putting through your feet down to the foil uh, start to be felt very, very quickly and the board is very responsive. Overall though, the aesthetic of the board, you start to see very quickly this full carbon layup in the deck. Uh, which is a really, really nice touch. And I'm really glad that they pulled that weave through so you can see that, it looks fantastic. The deck itself is really comfortable on the foot. There's this slight diamond um, uh, grip across the entire uh, length of the board all the way back down to the tail. That's really comfortable if you are on the board for extended periods of time. There is a little bit of foot movement and placement around the board, but yeah, there's a lot of grip always on the foot and they're quite deep cut diamond grooves as well. So the board sheds water very, very easily. What I also really like about the board is it's slightly concave the deck. So it's just helping you with your foot placement. It's always pushing you towards the center line of the board and that's just helping you orientate your foot placement, particularly on your front foot. The other nice thing I'd like on the Cabrina Crossfly is that the foot strap placement. You have the opportunity to play with three different uh, types of placement on the front. It doesn't come with foot straps though, but you can add those on our website and just pop them in the basket. But it's a really nice touch that you've got that ability to tailor it to you. You can also ride the board strapless if you want, um, but if you are looking for extended periods of flight and particularly in slightly windier conditions, then straps are a bit of a must. Working your way down the board though, yeah, it pulls in the tail very, very nicely. That helps a lot because it does reduce the wetter surface area in the back of the board and it means that you're gonna get that little bit of release slightly earlier than you would do on other models that have got a squared off tail. But at 28 inches wide overall, yeah, do you know what? It's really stable. So when you are looking to take off early on or perhaps you're starting out in your wing surfing journey, it provides a lot of stability on the foot, which just gives you a lot of confidence to get to your feet and then encourage to get onto the foil as early as possible because we all want to be up foiling at the end of the day. 
The other nice thing about this board and one of the reasons why it's going to be so popular is its volume. It has 111 litres and as a rough rule really you need to be adding around 10-12 litres on top of your overall body weight. Uh, me now I'm around 96-97 kilos so this sits really nicely and it just works well as a crossover board. But look, let's pick the board up now and just roll it over onto its rail. It is really lightweight. It actually comes in at 6.75 kilos, which for a board of this size is really testament to the quality of the construction that Cabrino have used in their layup. The rails themselves, as you tend to find on most wing surfing boards, are very, very thick. Uh, that there, normally you find on other brands, they're quite squared off, which provides a lot of stability when they're sat down immersed. But this rounded rail that Cabrina have gone for on the crossfly basically provides a little bit more release. It's not, it doesn't help with the stability, but ultimately the board at 28 inches wide, its width itself is its stability. But this provides and encourages a lot of early release again. Small amount of rocker in the nose, um, and that follows all the way back down to the tail that run, runs off in this very aggressive cut, which is gonna help you release from the water surface much, much earlier. But a big feature on the bottom of all the crossfly boards is this really deep center channel. It's very flat in the early section. That's providing a lot of lift. Again, encouraging you to get on the foil as early as possible. But that center channel is also providing you the ability to actually encourage the board to track very straight, very true. Because you invariably, particularly when starting out, you want to be straight and true with the foil so you can come up and everything feels very controlled as a result. Handle in the back here, just ahead of the foil, pretty much standard now across all wing surfing boards and foil boards, just enabling you to get to the beach that little bit safer because there's a lot going on. It's a big bit of kit when there's a foil on it and also with a wing in hand as well. So that's a really nice touch, very deep, uh, very, very comfortable as well in the hand. But another feature that I really like that Pete has put into this board is just how flat this section is where the top plate of your foil is gonna mount. That there and the placement they've done there, a lot of work's gone into that. You can still tweak it. The, the US twin box here is long enough that you can actually still move the top plate up and down to change the actual uh, angle of attack of the board. So as you are looking to take off, but it's a really nice feature that they've done there, which again, I'd say some other brands have overlooked. And that's really just testament to how well Cabrina know their foiling product. Overall though, if you're looking for a very, very well thought out wing surfing and foiling board with which to start your journey into foiling, then yeah, the 6.2 Crossfly is well worth a look. Thanks for watching our video. If you've got any questions about what you've seen, why not head over to thesupco.com or give us a call in the shop. If you wanna see our next video, then take a look up here. But if you wanna stay up to date with all of our videos, then subscribe up here and make sure you hit the notification bell.